Kneel in an Easter garden before the break of day. An angel came for Jesus and rolled the stone away. And when his friends came seeking with myrrh and spices rare, they found the angels at the door. But Jesus was not there. All in an Easter garden where water lilies bloom, the angels gave their message beside an empty tomb. He is not here, but come and see the place where Jesus lay. The Lord of life is risen indeed. For this is Easter Day. Hello. Everyone, hello, acorns and all sorts, and mummies and daddies, grannies and granddads, and anybody else who's tuning in, whether you're from our church in Ashover or whether you're from somewhere else in the world. We are so glad to have you here because today is Easter Sunday. So it is the most amazing, amazing celebration ever because today we remember how Jesus who came to this earth and and died for us and loves us beyond measure is alive oh isn't that great nibbles are the most wonderful news and nibbles wanted to share it with you too now, Nibbles has been on a little hunt today, haven't you, Nibbles? Well, yes, he has. He says, he says he's been, what have you been hunting for, Nibbles? Oh, he says he's been hunting for acorns, but there aren't an awful lot of acorns around at this time of year, are there, Nibbles? No, there aren't. So, instead of finding acorns, he found lots and lots and lots of bits of chocolate egg, didn't you, Nibbles? Yes, that, that's girls aren't really meant to eat a lot of chocolate, are you? No, so instead, he helped some of the children to find them in, and for them to eat, didn't he? Yes, and, and he found some chocolate hearts in the churchyard for the children, didn't you? Yes, and I hope you've been and found some too, because there have been all sorts of goodies here. And if you haven't found it already, we've got a lovely trail in the churchyard with some pretty pictures, and they've all got letters on and you can make a little phrase and take it to the tuck shop and win an ice cream if you come. So, why not check it out if you haven't already? Yeah. Now then, we wanted to celebrate with you. So, I have brought along uh, a friend of mine who is called Mary, and she is a very special lady because she is one of the closest friends of Jesus and she has had quite quite a turbulent week with a lot of emotion hasn't she she has and she just wanted to share what's happened to her with you so here we are Peter, I don't know what to do. He's not here. I, I've come to prepare his his body. And I, I brought my spices and my my oils and 
Jerusalem looking so majestic and full of love and everyone cheered and we thought we thought he would be our king and we love him with all our hearts but then but then it just seemed to go wrong just just two days ago we we had to watch him, we had to watch him, we had to watch him carrying, carrying his cross. And he had a crown of thorns on his head and it was bleeding. And he was in such pain. And he was whipped. And, 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 and everyone mocked him. And oh my dear Lord, he had to drag his cross all the way of the skull. Simon helped him a little because he was too weak to carry it himself. The soldiers told him he had to help but thank goodness he did. And then we got there and they, they nailed his hands and his feet to the cross and we had to hold him. A crown of thorns placed on his head He knew that he would soon be dead He said, did you forget me, Father, did you? They nailed him to a wooden cross Soon all the world would feel the loss of Christ
soldier who had used his sword to pierce the body of our Lord said truly this was Jesus Christ our Savior he looked with fear upon his sword then turned to face his Christ and Lord fell to his knees Took from his head the thorny crown And wrapped him in a linen gown Then laid him down to rest inside the tomb The holes in his hands, his feet inside Now in our hearts we know he died Three days went by, again they came To move the stone, to bless the slain With oil and spice anointing, hallelujah But as they went to move the stone They saw that they were not alone For Jesus Christ has Did you enjoy that most beautiful, beautiful song with its beautiful words? I can't really say how much I love that song and the way those girls sing it. We just wanted to share it with you, didn't we, Nibbles? Um, it's to help bring the true meaning of Easter to you. So, it is time for us to sign off now. And we hope that you've had a wonderful time. Whatever you've been doing, maybe you've been able to be outside with some friends or some family for the first time in a long, long, long time. <laughs> now, if you get a chance to pop by the church porch, which we have turned into the empty tomb at the moment, so it's very meaningful, just pop by and find one of our little gifts that we would love you to have. Let's find it, shall we, Nibbles? Oh, look, it says, oh, he's just gonna find it, aren't you, Nibbles? Oh, here we go. There we are. Now then, what's it say, Nibbles? Look, it's a lovely little heart because God's heart is beautiful and big and it says, you are loved. And there's a little cross to remind you of Jesus and a red ribbon to remind you of his sacrifice for us. And you can come and take one of these with our love. Take it to your home and look at it and remember how special and loved you are whenever you see it. So we'll play you out with one of our favourite songs 
which is oh happy day so why don't you stand up and jump about and clap your hands and just be full of joy and uh, hopefully you'll see some familiar faces on some photographs having fun with their egg hunts and around the churchyard bye bye everybody happy easter hallelujah he is risen oh happy day oh happy day